okay we are in the third video in this video we are going to cover mongodb installation and its security so please watch this video the factors are very important one so in this first we need to update our packages once a packages got updated now next step is to install mongodb okay mongodb installation has been started and it's almost going to complete this might take some time please wait for that after the mongodb installation you can able to check the mongodb status to check the status you can use this command the mongodb is running absolutely fine to check that you can able to use this command okay here you just have to monitor the factors so here you just have to first take this port number and save onto your file this port is used for mongodb and the next factor we have to consider here is if you are able to check here okay in front of okay it is giving one means mongodb server is working properly so this is the denotation that shows mongodb is working properly and here you can able to check the mongodb version now time for basic commands you can use the commands like start here it is this command is used for checking the status if you replace status with stop then it will stop the server and if it is replaced with start then it will start the mongodb server you can use the similar commands like restart disable enable now it's time for adjusting a firewall let me tell you why because here we are using a port number 27017 look at here 27017 if your nodejs application is running on the remote server and you would like to connect with this server so in this case we have to add a rule into our firewall that rules allows certain port for a particular ip address for the example let me show you okay so this is the common command here we have to replace the ip address so in this case i will enter a ip address like 25.10 like something ip address i will enter here so this is a invalid ip address so this is a ip address i am going to enable miss in the firewall ufw we are going to enable this ip for accessing this particular port means only this ip address can able to access this port so this is the security that we had to enable because if somebody from the outside is going to access your db so definitely it will get hacked or there are a lot of possibilities to do the attack onto your database to avoid that we have to give only particular ip addresses to allow to get access to your database to do that you just have to use this command here replace your ip address you can use here subnet based ip address as well range of ip addresses as well so in this case i am going to enable this ip address for this port enter here and here you can able to see that rule has been added successfully you can able to check the status of the server here now you can able to clearly see that 27017 port is open only for this particular ip address so this is what i am trying to explain now the mongodb can be accessed from local machine as well as with this ip address means definitely mongodb is not available for the public so this is what the first security level we have to consider while using a mongodb next part we have to do a little bit small configuration in that we have to bind our own server ip address into mongodb because without that we might not able to use the mongodb for that we have to use a command this one and in that file we have to do a certain configuration here just scroll down here click on edit the file go to the end of this line and enter comma and here add your server ip address okay server ip address has been added now we are going to open this port here it is not necessary to remove this command because mongodb is already configured on 27017 if you would like to 
change the port number you just have to uncomment it and enter a port desired port number so you can able to change the mongodb default port number in this case we are binding our main server ip address to a mongodb now click on save now we had completed our ip binding process with a mongodb the last step is remain we have to restart our mongodb and remember one more thing we have not restarted our firewall for that we can use the command sudo space ufw space reload now our firewall has also reloaded now finally we had completed almost all the parts in that we had covered nodejs securities server security ssh securities mongodb installations and mongodb security all the factors has been completed successfully so hopefully this video helps a lot we are going to create one more video and in this video we are trying to give you all possible resources i said let me repeat it we are trying to give you all possible resources that helps you to implement your nodejs application and all the possible tutorials video series guides available on the internet to help you to create your very first nodejs based application so subscribe to our channel and get all the updates in the future press the bell icon on youtube app and never miss another update